Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel DIY Savvy Mommy and welcome if you are new here. I am Kshitij and I love making art, DIYs, home decor and lifestyle videos. And today I am revamping and upcycling an old frying pan with the decoupage technique in the French country shabby chic theme. I simply love decoupage because it lets us transform anything that is old and weathered into something that is fresh, vibrant and gives it a new look altogether. It is also great for things that have sentimental value and we find it difficult to part with them. Also, this video is part of Charity Craft Challenge hosted by What's Jamie Making and Connie's Creative Creations. I have linked the channels along with the playlist in the description box below. There's also a Google form below in the description box where you can vote for your favorite project or charity and the winner's charity gets a donation of $50. The charity that I am choosing is Dogs on Deployment. They help pair foster families with military persons who are being deployed. The foster takes care of their pet while they are out serving their country knowing their pet won't end up in shelter. I think this is a very noble cause of taking care of pets and also families who serve the country. If you like my today's project, please vote for it in the form below and also hit the like button and subscribe to my channel for more such videos. Starting with the project, I am upcycling an old pan today with the decoupage technique and for that I took the pan, cleaned it nicely and then I started with the first coat of acrylic paint in white color. This gives a nice and smooth finish to the pan so that we can start working on it. I did two coats of white acrylic paint and let it dry between coats and once it was completely dry I started with the decoupage paper. I took rice paper in the vintage French country uh, theme and it, you can see that there are roses and an Eiffel Tower and uh, all things about uh, France and all vintage things on this paper. I wanted to give it a more vintage and romantic kind of touch uh, onto the span so I use this kind of paper you can use whatever paper you like or you prefer it is according to your taste. To tear the paper I first wet it with a brush so that I can tear it off. We don't want to cut the paper because we want those uneven edges so that it gives a more natural look to the decoupage technique. Similarly, I tore off more elements that I like to be used on my pan, uh, like these cursive writings and um, bird cage and butterflies and uh, romantic roses to add a more vintage and uh, shabby chic feel. Next, I wanted to use this pan as my kitchen decor. So I wanted to add something related to kitchen on it. So I took stencils and I wrote a coat. And for that, you can see I used the stencil and with pink chalk paint, I'm just dabbing it over the stencil to spell out my words and uh, complete the coat. You can also use paint markers instead of paint. And I think it gives a more polished and finished look. So this is my coat almost complete and it says this kitchen is seasoned with love 
and i really like this coat and it adds a more personalized touch to the dishes that we create in kitchen and a lot of love and i also added a small uh, stencil uh, of this pepper shaker and those peppercorns falling down so i really liked it it was really cute then i started with the decoupage uh, technique first of all i added some uh, mod podge glue that is the base mod podge glue onto the pan and then i started sticking the rice paper onto it i'm being very careful while gluing the paper because i don't want any wrinkles on the paper neither do i want the paper to tear off so with a very light hand i'm just putting the glue and spreading out my paper carefully Similarly, I started adding the small elements that I cut out from rice paper and started gluing them onto the pan. You can choose what design you want. You can just choose one single design in the center and then color off the edges. But it's absolutely on you how you would want to decorate your pan or whatever you want to decoupage, decoupage on. And uh, I wanted to add little elements. Um, so i just cut small small pieces and i'm trying to glue it this challenge is also about prints and pattern where i need to use a lot of prints and some kind of pattern on my project so i'm using these vintage and shabby chic prints all over the pan and slowly one by one i'm adding those elements to each side to make a perfect design so that it it blends very nicely with the overall a scheme that I'm trying to create. Then I took chalk paint in pink color and teal color and started creating patterns all across the border of the pan. And then to blend the background with all the colors, I mixed a brown, mustard and white acrylic paint to form this tea color, light tea color so that I can fill up the background with this color so that it looks really blended. To revamp and upcycle the handle of the pan, I tied jute string on the portion that was steel in color and for the black portion I colored again it with black acrylic paint.
for the finishing touches i added some more outlines to the elements that were slightly light in color so that it pops up more and also gets blended really nicely so i just made outlines of um, the flowers and the butterflies and the letters that i wrote so that it looks more popped up and more colorful and more vibrant and doesn't get blended all together and looks the same as a background this enables the picture to look a little more dimensional and uh, doesn't make it look flat so there are ups and downs and slight shadows that we are trying to create here so it looks really dimensional and not flat To tone down the white background that you can see uh, under the coat, I used coffee, uh, coffee water. That means a pinch of coffee mixed with some water, and this is a kind of stain that I used to do the background so that everything looks more blended. And the white was actually striking my eye a lot, so I think this is a better color, and uh, it also adds the element of coffee to my vintage shabby chic theme and this is how my project turned out let me know how you liked it and if you really liked it enjoyed my video please vote for me and my charity in the description box below in the google form hit the like button subscribe to my channel and i'll be back with some more fun videos very soon thanks a lot for watching take care goodbye